I hope you enjoy these film clips from my Baltic tour this spring. Uh, you are the speaker, right? Yes, I am. They will need to take a picture for you with a yeah. It's great to be a celebrity, especially when you can get off the ship and see sites like these in Copenhagen. This is a bike culture. Less than 30% of Copenhagen residents are in the car. Most people use bikes. Watch how fast they go. No traffic in this bike lane. Now we're in Nystad Harbor where I had a great lunch and a wonderful afternoon. You can see how close it is to the main buildings in town. And there was free entertainment. This was a fascinating mural. It actually is a canvas designed to conceal unsightly construction near a million door. I found it by accident. This is some of the most spectacular sculptured landscaping I've ever seen. This is Rosenborg Park, leading up to Rosenborg Palace, where the throne room was, and where the treasury is still situated today. Fascinating. I'm not sure our landscaping service can handle this. Next, on to Tallinn. Tallinn is the home of Skype. They also have trolleys that are not impeded by dandelions, which really have overtaken all of these This is the town square, where Skype founders had their first office. Nevsky Cathedral. Alexander Nevsky was a famous Russian general in the 13th century and a subsequent saint. It's the coffee shop. I don't know if you can see it, but those are cups and saucers with spoons making up the Ferris wheel. Now we're in Russia. Petersburg, Peterhof was fabulous. It was Peter's country home. Peter the Great, that is. Peter the First. He modeled this after their style, after visiting it as a young man. And that was during the reign of Louis XIV, the Sun King in France. This is Catherine Palace, about 20 miles down the road in Pushkin Village, also known as Sarskoya Salo. 
It was built for Peter's wife, second wife, Catherine, and then completed by Catherine the Great. Amazing object. You can understand why there was a revolution in 1917. Why this river is used only for the pleasure boats, like we've got it. It's a very popular way to see sea. That should have been the river that we used. It's the widest bridge in the region. There are all drawbridges. There are trees that are not in the outskirts of town. You don't stand up on the bridge. This place. 10% of the territory is occupied uh, by the water. This is a and we are prestigious to stay here or to live here uh, on such uh, beautiful uh, waterfronts and absolutely magnificent uh, buildings. On the left hand side of yours, we are approaching the building with the longest facade in the world, this yellow and white building. In the 19th century, it housed the headquarters of the Russian army. Nowadays, this very part, because uh, we can see only part of the building along this one caliber, this part is a So this was the uh, second widest bridge across so the Moika River, 17 uh, meters. So uh, why you are in more than 200 meters wide? And in a moment we're going to get into the shortest canal of St. Petersburg. It is called shortest canal of St. That was me before I went on a diet. My favorite site. The church built on spilled blood. Spilled blood. The resurrection church built on the site of the assassination of the fire. He lived right in the church and he still died there. Sometimes he was on a time. Now we're on our way to Spinelson. Sadly, I only have one film clip that was from a cemetery that I found by accident. It happens to be a version of the National Cemetery. But listen to the birds. And what a beautiful day it was. Stockholm. Not many pictures there, but some good ones. This is the archipelago coming in. I get up at 4 a.m. to take these pictures because the captain suggested it. Later, I met a Swedish tour guide at the town hall who said you can see it better in the evening on the way out. She was right. It was barely light, but this is a good example of the summer white nights that exist in northern Europe, where there is really very little darkness, mostly twilight early in the morning. I like that one. Yeah, 
goes not so much. But the red color is classic in the archipelago. It's a Swedish uh, image that uh, is really propagated in terms of building country homes. Do you like parts in Copenhagen? Remember the city, uh, excuse me, Stockholm. The city itself was built on 14 islands, and of course this is the suburbs, about like, oh, 30 kilometers out. Here's the job I thought I'd apply for. I think I'd like the uniform. Well, I could do that. I'm making way for the little room here. This is the view outside of Town Hall. The clouds came in later in the day. Overall, different view of some of the uh, harbor. Copenhagen. Uh, I keep saying Copenhagen. I really need Stockholm, but you know that. I guess I was overwhelmed by Copenhagen. Actually, the organ of the town hall that is an official governing, body, governing site, but it is an amazing structure. And this is the ceiling of one of the hallways. It reflects nautical themes as well as the use of wood to build a structure that is classic in the modern time. Well, from Stockholm, we headed home. By way of London, I just would not stop talking. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It's a place to go. So let's first talk about the... It's become an escape. It's a place to go. So let's first talk about the...